seen this much snow. Look at it. The side walls are my truck six, 10, 11, 12 feet high. Unbelievable. Look at how small the trucks here are in front of me. Unbelievable amount of snow. I've never seen it like this. And I've been coming a long time. Wow, what a trip. Massive snow. This is crazy. Wow. Unbelievable. That one there, that's like 25 feet. A telephone pole, don't do it, bro. Fucking idiot. A telephone pole is 33 feet. And these are almost touching the top, so 26 feet of snow on some spots, I would guess. I do like to be a little dramatic, but that's, that's crazy. It would take a lot of effort to climb up there. Anyways, let me put this down on the trash bin. Anyways, look at this, unbelievable. I have never seen this. That there is like, that's 30 feet tall. Wow. The reason I'm vlogging this is I'm totally shocked. I'm sure you guys are, especially you guys that have never seen this before. This is unbelievable. And it's good that I have a, uh, a YouTube because I can put this in history. Like you can look at this in 10 years as global warming changes and things get worse. Uh, will they get wetter? Will they get drier? I mean, it's crazy. Look at that. Okay, so that truck's probably what? Six, seven feet? And look at the wall. So that's it's 12 feet, maybe 15 feet. It's unbelievable. This is the most dangerous area here, so I gotta be careful. It always stays cold here. There we go. And uh, definitely an avalanche day. Now, this is a break in the weather. There's two days that are sunny, and then a massive storm comes in, bringing 18 inches and then another 11 so 30 inches which it might even hit it'll hit between two and a half and three feet or one meter almost a meter it's unbelievable such a pretty drive isn't it look at over here it's a valley I'll show you here it's a beautiful valley back to the trip. As you can see, the water freezes while it hits my window. But it's 35 degrees out. It's just the wind chill freezes it. What a cool vlog. It'll be interesting to see how many people like this vlog. If you do like it, uh, just say hey. I, I think it's cool. I've been coming up here my whole life since I was... 16. I'll tell you guys a funny story. My friends, the Burnett's, they were a big inspiration. Carol, I mean, uh, was it Nancy, David, their parents, um, Sharon, and Dave Burnett. They took me to the forest a lot, and then they said one day, hey, you want to go skiing? And I said, sure. Now, I had a little bit of a rough, rough upbringing. So yeah, I wanted to do something that was adventurous. So I went to a place called Soda Springs, which we just passed. I went and I thought skiing was easy. I had an attitude. I've always kind of had a little self-confidence, uh, too much confidence, but that's okay. Then I go from the top of this mountain all the way down straight. I see a jump at the bottom. I jumped off this thing and leaned back and was sailing through the air. No light. No light. Sailing through the air really high. <laughs> flat on my back. And I had skis on. Flat on my back. I smashed into the ground. I thought I broke my, my back. I thought I broke my butt. I definitely broke my pride. 
Skis everywhere. I sprained both ankles. Should have broke them. And everyone on the chairlift was screaming, laughing, because they had never seen such a violent wreck in their life. So it was like I was trying to kill myself. But I thought it'd be easy to jump. You're supposed to lean forward, you dummy. I didn't know that. I leaned back. Oh my God, I would have made it maybe if I was confident and leaned forward, but I leaned back. I made a huge mess. I limped to the truck. I thought my ankles were broke. They laughed so hard and I was done for the day. Years later, I kept skiing. I became a very good skier. And then I realized that snowboarding was just me and the board. And I love snowboarding. It's just such a part of my life. Look at this unbelievable wall of snow. This is crazy. Never seen this before. Massive, massive snow. frozen waves on top of these mountains or there will be bowls that fill secret little bowls which are like meadows that just fill and they're waiting to break and could possibly kill somebody i've known of about five deaths up here uh one two guys hiked to this mountain to have fun got caught in an avalanche in a snowstorm and died about four years ago another guy went off the wrong direction here at a resort and he um, fell off a cliff. They did not recover his body for three or four months later after all the snow had uh, melted because it was such a dangerous spot. The guy was an idiot. Um, yeah, people die snowboarding by being dumb. I, I stay on the, I go in the trees, but I do stay in the zones in case I have to yell for help. I've been stuck once in my life and that was enough. I fell into a tree well with my gloves off on a sunny day and got my skis stuck upside down in a tree, which I thought was fine, but I couldn't get my skis off and I almost died. It was pretty freaking scary. Such a simple thing and I was in the woods. Anyways, um, now we're climbing up a little higher. You'll see like this massive meadow down there. Not sure if you can see it. Watch, watch now, here comes the meadow. Huge meadow. 
Look at this, back on ice. Where you gotta be really careful. Hundreds of cars coming through. Um, of course, it's a world-class resort. It's Sugar Bowl in California. And uh, yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing trip. Just thought I'd never, I'd never seen a uh, video like this before where people just kind of show what it's like to come in, but yeah. And I, am, I, am I nervous? I've done this a thousand times, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm always nervous. I have really nice uh, tires on my truck, real big kind of fancy ones, and they're not the best tires. So look at look at how beautiful this is. This is just stunning, stunning. Now, the, it's rare to have all the snow on the trees. That's why I'm videotaping, because that means it was a French, fresh dump. As soon as the sun hits those branches, the snow will be melting all over this, and you'll have no more white Christmas. This does not last very long. Okay, there's a new storm coming in today at two o'clock in the afternoon. Look at this. Now check out the icicles. Check out this house. Those are massive icicles. If one of those fell on your head, you would be dead. Right through your head, right? Anyways, here comes a snow plow. A kind of a smaller one, not the big bad boys. You can hear they have chains on, so they don't slip. I've seen a car right here, oh God, five years ago. It was sunny, and he was upside down in the car right here. It was insane. And the reason is, this little spot here is a bridge, and it freezes over, and he hit it and hit the bank and flipped upside down. It's insane. So I'm almost to the resort, but I just wanted to share, I think many of you will find this fascinating. This is as wintry as it gets. The roads have, roads have ice on them. Um, the trees are completely covered with snow. This is a, as Christmassy as a world can get. And uh, I'll leave you with that. I appreciate your time. And this, I believe, is a unique video that I think a lot of people will like. All right, guys, this is as wintry as it gets. This is Sugar Ball. Look, see how the cars are buried? They're all buried. Uh, this is a world-class resort, Sugar Bowl. People come from around the world to come here. It has gondolas, it's five stars. It's a stunning place to snowboard and ski and enjoy time with your family. Man, this guy is such a fast driver. Good thing he had his mask on in the car. Okay, so here's Sugar Bowl Village. Everybody here has to catch a gondola. All right, you guys, there's another entrance I'm going around to, the backside. Never seen it like this before. Unbelievable. And it's good to be nervous. <laughs> this is actually an avalanche day. I gotta be very careful um, of where I go today because you could die on a day like this.
I crashed at this spot and the trees are raining and the skies, clouds are going by. Unbelievable day. The day before the reckoning of a big storm. I'm having so much fun.